other family and friends. We come to the work nation, our nation of factual truth, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear, without favor, and without death. Where we encourage us to live our lives and live it well through the knowledge of factual truth because it is our lives. I'm personally encouraging you wherever you are to enjoy your life. Your life is great. Your life is natural. Your life is eternal. You need no help from heaven. Oh, Amadi, what's up? You need no help from angels. You need no help from any being outside this world. There is no world for you outside this world. There is no home for you outside this world. This world is your eternal home. So you were born not to serve here. You were born not to worship here, but to live. Make it conducive for yourself. Make it beautiful for yourself how you want it to be. You're supposed to know why you are here. There's no purpose greater than the nature. There is no purpose greater than you living your life naturally. That's what you are born to do, living your life naturally, exploring and enjoying life. So you are not a worshiper. You are born a builder. That's why you are born with a brain. You are not born with God. You are not born with faith. You cannot live by God. You cannot live by faith. No. So I'm sharing with us what I titled uh, Building and uh, Direction, which I will encourage you to interact with me, you know, share with us whatever knowledge you have as we go on, drop it on the comment box. Okay. So, and uh, you know, I don't condone Things, believers, people that believe in God, keep your belief and your faith to yourself. But if you throw it at me, I throw it multiple times back to you. Okay. So let me start by asking you, who is the builder of your car? You say, I don't have a car. Okay. Who is the builder of your phone? Who is the builder of your house? Who is the builder of that place you are living right now? Who is the builder of the place you are living in. Who gives you direction when you are going to some place, when you have a destination and you don't know how to get there? Who gives you direction? These two questions I ask you, there is no answer from God about it because God cannot build anything and God cannot direct you. God cannot build anything for you. God cannot direct you. It is people doing it all. When you read a place in their Bible, so welcome to Bible study. In uh, Psalm chapter 32, verse 8, he said, that's God talking to them now as they always claim. God speaking to them, he said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. He did not say there will be an intermediary. There will be a mediator between me and you. No. He said, I will teach you. You say, okay, okay. That was Old Testament. Yeah, in the New Testament. He said, you don't need any law anymore. He said, we write it in your heart. It is, it is, it is impossible. You still carry Bible. You still carry Quran. You still carry Torah. He said, I will instruct you. You don't need any instructor. You don't need to go to any school. And I will teach you. You don't need anyone to be your teacher. Then he said, I will guide you with my eyes. I will guide you with my eyes. That's God doing the I, 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 God, God. That's why I say how I wish that God is real. Believers won't be going to school. They won't be struggling with like every other, every other person. They won't be living like every other person. You won't see them on social media. If God is real, if God exists, no believer in God will be on social media.
building and direction. I want you to know this. You were tricked to believe as a child. Your parents trick you to believe. Your guardians tricked you to believe. The society tricked you to believe. The worst part of it, they say you should believe without seeing. That makes you happy. He said, happy are those who did not see but believe. No, they are not happy. They are hallucinating. They are delusional. They are illusioned. They are stupid. They are brain dead. Those who believe without seeing what they believe. You say, everybody must believe. I give it to you. Now you believe. You need to see what you believe. Say, no, I don't need to see. I don't need any proof that God exists. Then you are stupid. Why are you trying to talk to somebody like me or try to exchange words with somebody like me? You are a sheep. I am a human being. Humans don't argue with sheep. Those who depend on God cannot build anything. They will never build anything. Those who depend on God. Those who depend on God. Those who defend God. They will never build anything. They will never defend themselves. Because they are slaves. And the slaves are useless to themselves. Look at us. Because we are slaves. The people that we are our students are now our teachers. Instructing us. Guiding us. No. It was supposed to be so. But the area I'm showing you, those of you that say there is God, those of you that say there is a higher being that teaches anything or created this world, where is that God instructing you? Where is that God teaching you? Where is that God guiding you? In reality, If there is what is called miracle of God, there will be no sick person in any religion. If God exists, you won't see any sick person in any church. You will see them having deliverance, healing hour, deliverance hour. They won't have it. When, what I mean, those people, they keep coming. They keep coming, praying, hoping that miracle will happen. Then they, when, when it's not happening, you show they say that, you know, they're exercising their faith. They're exercising their faith. No, it's supposed to be once. He said, call unto me. He did not say, keep calling unto me. Then I will, time will come when I will answer you. He said, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. So I will show you solution to your problem. If God truly is, you won't see any believer in God in any native doctor house for any reason. You won't see Catholics there. You won't see Anglicans there. You won't see Methodists there. You won't see Pentecostals there. What are they looking for in that place? If there is miracle of God, you won't see them there. I want you to know this. Creation theories are fairy tales. You still see people say, okay, who created the moon? Who created the moon? Did the moon tell you they were created? It is the fairy tales. That's why I say they tricked you to believe without sin. Had it been they show you that God, you won't have to believe there is God. You will know there is God. You will know that God. You will see that God as he is or as she is or as it is. But that God does not exist. Anyone that is speaking for God is a liar. Anyone that is preaching God is lying. There is no God in any place or in any form. You cannot make your brain God and it becomes God. You cannot make your mind God and it becomes God. You cannot make nature God and it becomes God. There is no God at all. I am not an atheist. Atheists believe there is no God. I know there is no God because I am human. God created nothing. So when you read a place in the Bible like Hebrew chapter 3 verse 4, you say every house is built by someone, but he that builds all things is God. It's a lie. He said, God, build all things where? 
If God created you, God will continue creation. Creatures don't create. Mm -mm. Creatures don't create after their kind. No. It is the living, the born. Even living cannot create after their kind. They give birth after their kind. God created nothing. They, that's why they have to write a book to force it on you to believe. Yeah, God created it. And when you are reading that book, that thing become real in your head. And you begin to utter it. You begin to defend it. Yeah, God created it. How can you say, how can you be, okay, the first man and first woman. All that idea you have, you get it from the book, the lying book they wrote. Fairy tales. And your ancestors have better fairy tales about creation than the one written in the book by the Europeans. The creation story or theories in the Bible, in the Quran, in the Torah, they are copied and plagiarized copy, type from your own ancestors. Your ancestors, they, 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 when they are talking about creation, they put the will there. And you cannot create anything without will. That's why they try to correct it in the Bible. They go to the book of Ezekiel, they tell you that they see a wheel in the middle of the wheel. That's why they corrected it. If, I think it's in the book of Jeremiah. He said that he went to Potter's house. He went there and saw the wheel. When you go where creation is taking place, you must see the wheel. The machine must be there. But in the beginning of Genesis, there, there was no wheel. He said, Their God does speak, things begin to come. It's impossible. You cannot speak anything into existence. You cannot. You speak, it can manifest. No. Somebody must work for it. Somebody must work for it. Believers in God are not honest. You can't believe in God and said to be an honest person. That's why they commit all the atrocities in this world. They claim to be clean. They claim to be honest. They claim to be truthful. When you say there is God, you are no longer truthful. When you believe there is God, you are no longer honest. You are not honest to yourself and you are not truthful to others. Because start being honest to yourself. There is no God that have done anything for you. But you will say, thank God I am plus one. It is God. Uh, God by God's grace, I graduated. It is God's doing. Uh, I, met a, I went for that business. I said, it is God's doing. You are not honest to yourself and you are not truthful to others. Living things. <laughs> Living things are not created. They cannot be created. Anything that is created has no life in it. And let me say this, some of you that are thinking, oh, this man is self-made. There's nothing like self-made person, self-made billionaire, self-made millionaire, self-made rich man. It's a lie. For you to make anything real, it's not only you. Other people must be involved. The material you use, where do you get it from? So you, you cannot make it just by yourself. It's impossible. It's impossible. But you don't think like that because they trick you to believe as a child. So when they say that it covers you, don't you see when you were in, in Christianity or in Islam or in Judaism, when you are reading those their books, some of the things you are finding to be ridiculous today, you know, they, they you didn't see it that time, but they were there. So today, when you see other somebody else read it or you see yourself really say, Wow, I never I, I, I never see this thing before. It happens to me. When you see me like using Job chapter 9, verse 23 today, all my years as a minister of the gospel, all my years as a Christian, I never come across it because when I did it, I just read it as a, you know, Job, no, Job was there. I know at the end, God of Mr. Job. That's why I say when they read it, that book, you know, the thickness of the book covered them. They cannot see, they are reading, but they cannot see. They are blind. Understand this. What you create is imaginary. 
that is unreal because it's only in your head. You can only create in your head. You see how many times you have been rich in your head? You have seen many things happen in your head, but not in reality. That's why some people call it creative mind. It's in your brain. With your brain, you create things. You can, in everything you see around you today started first in the brain. That's why it was created. Then it was work and bring into reality. You can imagine all you want. You can say there is God, but until you bring it into reality, shut up. Don't tell me about it. If there is God, I need to see God. If you say that thing is real, I need to see it. Say not everything you see, then don't tell me about them. Tell me what I can see. I don't need to hear about what I cannot see. I'm not a believer. I'm not sheep. What you build is real. Not only real, it's useful. It's benefiting to humanity. Whatever you build, bring it into existence. Prayer of faith, of believing in God, whatever what you say you're working with God, it can never build or help you in reality, it can never help you build anything. Anyone they say they build that house by God's grace, they are lying. They are liars, especially ministers of God. They are liars. And you see, today they're beginning to shift from faith. Now they join it, you know, faith and works. But follow their book from the beginning. He did not tell them that. You know, tell them, I said, if you trust in the Lord, he will, he will be my Zion. You don't need any protection. They that trust in the Lord, they say they shall stand like my Zion, right? Or they shall be surrendered. That's lie. It can never be true in reality. That's why they hire security men, God, <laughs> arm God to protect them because God cannot protect them. Or they, although they say, God is with me. May, Lord, may the Lord be with you, also with you. EJ. Be with you where you cannot build anything by prayer, you cannot build anything through faith, you cannot build anything through God. Say, through I can do nothing through God, that's all it is a lie. Christ cannot strengthen you, God cannot strengthen you, your ancestors cannot strengthen you. You are the one that will strengthen yourself, or your fellow human being, or what is real will strengthen you. This is a shameful thing you are ascribing your efforts and your sources to imaginary beings. Spiritual and religious folks are forcing their illusion on what is real. What is the definition of illusion? Misinterpretation of what is real. That definition alone will show you what is illusion. Misinterpretation of what is is real. So they are forcing their illusion on what is real. They say, look at the cloud. Yeah, that show you there is God. There is God there. No. If there is God there, it's supposed to have a location, have address there. Anyone can go there. Everyone can go there. Then the spirit of people say, the nature show you there is God. It's your nature. Nature in nature, you understand that that's bullshit. Nature didn't tell you that. It's people that made up that bullshit and sold it. And you say, because they are my ancestors, I should continue with it. No, it doesn't matter who hold that illusion, whether they are my ancestors or are my adversaries. If it's not with the factual truth, I'm not standing with it. Stop ascribing your struggle and your sources, your effort, you, you know, your inclinations or whatever you have imagined to do or whatever you have executed, stop ascribing it to imaginary God you created. That God, whatever God you worship, you created that God. Whatever God you believe in, you created that God. And that God cannot show up and say, yes, here I am. He can never do that. Because it does not exist. Somebody shared that video on our the Woke Nation uh, WhatsApp group. 
a Christian pastor. Because when you that's what I've been doing now, trying to tell you, you know, you can believe in God, then you have to be working. You know, your work will be avenue for God to bless you. God needs something to bless you. God needs you to say, that's nonsense. That means that God is not almighty. That God cannot do that thing they say he can do. For the fact they need your money, tell you that that God does not exist. That God cannot do anything. How can they tell you their God can solve your problem? Then they need your money. Tell me. They tell you their God can solve, can heal you, can do all that. Can, their God is almighty. But they need your money. Think about that. They are scammers. So you see, this pastor, he was charging his congregations to pray, believe, and the build. Then they will claim it is God's grace or God's blessing. That's what they're teaching them now. Even when they have seminars, that's what they're teaching people how to become rich, how to do this. These are people that tell you that this world is not their home or heaven is their home. These are the people that tell you that Jesus is coming to take them. The coming of the Lord is in, in, imminent. These people have been saying that, you know, this world, you will perish if you love this world. Yet yeah, these people are owing private jet, owing houses, owing properties, owing many things. They are booming because God, government is behind them. They are criminals. The only savior they have is the government. Without the government, they will, they, you, they will shut up. It's the government that is, because government is using them too. Because government is making out, keep deluding the people. Let them keep praying and hoping, sowing seed, and yet go and suffer and say it is God. Okay, no, God will judge that evil leader. Don't worry, God will handle him. Not me. Who am I to judge? Is in the hand of God. So God need their work to bless them. If you want God to bless you, you have to. He said. He said that. Uh, you know, I was a. I was a graduate, but I was teaching. I was doing this. I did not stay one place. Idiot. Why are you saying if there is God, you don't need to be a graduate? He said he will instruct you and teach you and guide you. He said, then I, I get a job. That's nonsense. And you are not in your village. You did not, you are not tilling the land. He said, the earth is the Lord. He has given you the land. Okay. But now you are you went to school now. I want to get some job that men created. You want them to employ you. And yet you say you're serving God. Uh, God is in control. I have my masters, but I was working as a messenger, as a messenger. I was, I was a truck pusher. You are stupid. We don't need those nonsense. And that's why it's a simple thing that my people, Igbo people, you don't teach Igbo man before how to make money. You don't do that. How to do, you don't do that in Igbo land. They teach themselves. But today, see what is happening. These people are criminals because these people now, reality requires works, but uh, imaginary requires faith and beliefs. So they begin to marry them together. They said, faith without works is dead. Where did they say that in the Bible? In the book of James, Jesus never said faith without works is dead. No, Jesus, I will show you what Jesus said about faith. Facts. No rich person can follow Jesus. Anyone that is following Jesus and have a car, that person is not following the Jesus of the Bible. Do you hear what I say now? Anyone that is following Jesus and has a car or have a car, that person is not following the Jesus of the Bible. He's following the Jesus of Christianity. <laughs> Which is prosperity Christian, uh, Jesus. Prosperity gospel is not the gospel of Jesus of the Bible. Because the gospel of Jesus of the Bible, you must be poor. No matter if you are rich and you meet Jesus, you must let everything go and become poor, then follow him. That's why no rich person can follow Jesus. Tell those pastors that are claiming to be rich now to say all they have, give them to the poor and follow the Lord. They will curse you. Because they know before they enter there, Bishop Oedebo knew what he was going for before he left his lecturer job and become open church. Adeboya dissenting 
All of them, they know. You can't tell the president of America to leave presidency and come and serve the Lord. You know, it's impossible. It can never happen. It can never happen. Say what? No, my tenure has not finished. In fact, I'm going for a second term. I'm not, this, this power, I'm not leaving it. Poor? Who? Jesus taught them, watch and pray. That's what he said. If you pray, watch, you will receive. That's what Jesus taught them. But these people have changed all these things. When you read place like, uh, what, this is what Jesus said to his disciples, like in Luke chapter 6, verse 20. Bible say he turned to his disciples and said, what? Blessed are you poor. That's happy are you poor. For yours is the kingdom of heaven. Then in verse 24, he said, what are you rich? You already have your consolation. You will not go to heaven. Heaven is a place, believers, that are suffering this world we go to enjoy after death. No believer that is enjoying this world today that we go to heaven, impossible, it can never happen. But because they used to preach only holiness, salvation, get poor, you know, you have to be poor. They find out many years are going, this Jesus is not coming, it's not coming. Okay, prosperity. You know, yeah, we can interpret it this way, as it's in heaven. So let it be done on earth. Okay, there is gold, sweet of gold in heaven. We can build it here. No, he tell you that fire will burn on it. <laughs> so why are you building? Why are you building? Where well, you know it will be destroyed? Because it contradicts your message. Your message is a lie. Jesus tell them to watch and pray. Matthew 26 verse 41 is there. He said, watch and pray. He said, do not know the hour you come. Watch and pray. He did not say, pray and walk. He did not say, watch, pray and walk. No, he said, watch and pray. Jesus' teaching is very clear in the Bible. It don't need anyone's interpretation. Jesus said, watch and pray so you don't fall into temptation. Watch and pray so you don't fall into poverty. Watch and pray so you don't fall into, <laughs> into sickness. Watch and pray so you don't fall into disease. That's why he said, those that believe in him, in his name, they will lay hands on the sick. They will recover. He said they will perform miracles. They will heal. They will cure. They will raise the dead. Do you see anyone who believes in Jesus doing those things today? No. Why? Because Jesus never existed and they are not following the Jesus of the Bible. Everyone like myself that tried to follow the Jesus of the Bible will, will stop following Jesus. Because you find that this thing is not working. Reality will teach you. No, it's not true. Jesus never existed. Jesus never teach pray and walk to his disciples as you see believers today preaching. He never did that. He did just say it is faith only. Faith only. That's what you need. Not faith and walk. Not show me your faith through your walk. No, that's what they put later when they write all those epistles. Read the gospel of Jesus. Mark chapter 5 verse 36. Jesus said to that man, do not be afraid. Only believe. You don't need to walk anything. Don't fear. Okay, I may lose. I may die. No, he said, do not be afraid. Only believe. Mark chapter 5 verse 36. Then Mark chapter 9 verse, verse 23. He said, to him that believe, all things are possible. He did not say to him that believe and walk. All things are possible. He said, to him that believe, only all things are possible. You say why? Then in, 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 in chapter 10, verse, verse, verse 27, he said, because he said that with God, all things are possible. With God, you believe in God, all things are God will get it done. All you need is to pray. All you need is to believe. Then when you read further, chapter 11, verse 24, he said, if you pray and believe, you don't doubt. He said, you shall receive it. He did not say, if you pray and walk, you shall receive it. He never said that. It is all these criminals, pulpit criminals, church criminals, religious criminals that are telling you, pray and walk. God will bless you through them. No. It's not. Uh, I'm walking because God is blessing my work. No, God is not blessing any work. If God blesses you, you don't need to walk. He will do that. 
Following God requires only belief. That's what it means to believe a miracle. I believe a miracle. Okay, then don't walk. Let miracle happen. Let us see. It can never happen. You will die before you know it. Not believe and walk for your need. Jesus, even God never teach you that. He said they walk in the wilderness for 40 years. He did not let their shoe wear out. Their clothes did not tear. 40 years, he, he gave them manna. Where is that God today? Let's see now. It's only real in the book. Miracle of God is only in the book, not in reality. Read Matthew chapter 19, verse 21. No rich person is the follower of Jesus. No rich person. Read Luke chapter 12, 32 to 34. No rich person. You can't have possessions of this world and follow Jesus. He said, no, you have to let them go. So in the resurrection, after death, you will receive hundredfold. He said, leave your wife, leave your house, leave your children, leave whatever, you know, and follow him. That is including yourself. You will gain it when you die and go to heaven. But now they say, no, it's here. Yeah, we're going to make it here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you see them joining politics. You see them joining all the evil people. Evil people, that's their people now. Huh? And other things. Doing all those evil in the land. In closing, I want us to know this. Nothing is built by God. This world is not created by any God. The world was not created. It was not created. Speak what you know. How did the world come into existence? I don't know. But I know it is there. I can see it. I can use it. I'm living in it. I know how I came into existence. From I, I was food first. From I was ate. Everything about me is earthly. Everything inside out, earthly, natural, karma. I am not spiritual. I don't have a soul. I don't have spirit in me. I am the living soul. I am the living spirit. I'm the living person. My body is living. My body does not die. It does not die. It transforms. It goes back to its source and come back again. It keeps doing so. It's natural. Mm. Nothing can be built or nothing is built through faith. At least look at what they are building. Then you agree with me that knowledge is spring. Knowledge. Dare to know. Trash belief system. Trash God. Trash all this religion. And begin to live you are alive. Knowledge is not a gift. God cannot give you knowledge. Your ancestors cannot give you knowledge. You are the one that will go after it. And if there is any being you say giving you knowledge, that being is natural being. Whether it's invisible or visible, dare to know that being. And we also can know it if that being is real. Understand that it is people who are building. It is people who are giving direction, not any God. Let us begin to honor people, respect people, praise people, give people honor due to them, and stop giving it to imaginary beings that are useless to us. Pardon.